Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about hash router and why we may want to use it over browser router. Now, in order to understand the significance of hash router, first we have to understand what routing is. Now, we know that every website on the internet is hosted on a server and each has a unique address. So, I will just uh, visit the genuobits.com website. For an example, now each server has a file system, and when we're on the home page, we're actually on the root route, and uh, we have just requested to see a index.html file that is in the root of our file system on our server. Now, if I try to visit the about page, this means that on the root, we have a folder called about us and inside of that about us folder, we have a file called index.html, so another index.html file and we have just requested the content of that, of that file and that is what it contains as we can see in the browser but in a single page application it doesn't really work this way you see in a react application or a single page application routing doesn't really happen traditionally we just have a single index.html file and uh, through component mounting and unmounting we actually give the users a sense that a page is being changed and for routing to work effectively in a react application the web server needs to have a change all configuration so what this change all configuration does is that let's say we're visiting the root route it will show us the index.html file if i visit the about us page it will show us the exact same index.html file but what it will do is that it will unmount some component or mount some new and uh, we will get a new page so normally uh, we don't really have to configure our web server to have a change all configuration when we deploy our application in services like um, firebase hosting netlify or vercel they do it automatically during the deployment process we don't have to really do anything but there are static um, servers which doesn't really have this change all configuration and setting up a change all configuration can be really tough in those cases so what we can use in these cases is that we can use another router called hash router a hash router doesn't rely on server configuration instead it is handled entirely on the browser to give you an example of the hash router let's go to the root or the home page and uh, so if this genuobits.com site was a single page react application and if we had used a hash router in this application then it would look something like this so the root route will look something like this after the main domain there would be a slash and then there would be a hash and whatever comes after this hash will be the route so if it's the home page it will be just a slash meaning the root route if it's the about us page it will have after the hash there will be about us so this is just an example let's implement this hash router in our application so let's get back to our code and uh, inside the router.jsx all we have to do is instead of create browser router we have to use create hash router and uh, we do need to import it from react router dom and that is it so if i save now you can see that everything else is doing fine and uh, 
if I get back, if I just uh, close this tab and uh, let's refresh. As you can see that our current route, this route was actually slash login, but now because we have used a hash router, there is a hash, then there is slash login. So I've already told you that whatever comes after this hash is the route. So if I log in, you'll see that when we are redirected to the home page, it will be just a hash and then a slash. Now, normally you don't really want to use a hash router because the default browser router that we used recently, it is using HTML5's history API, which is quite powerful. Now, you may need to use a hash router in some cases, like if you want to host your page on GitHub pages, uh, which will require you to use a hash router. So I hope that clears things out. That's it for this video. I will see you in the next one.